AcountNews.com. Peter Zimbor here with former world champion and now elite trainer, Buddy McGurr. Thanks for joining us, Buddy. Thanks for having me. Now, this Saturday night, Sergio Martinez defends his middleweight championship against Sergei Zinzirik on HBO Live from the MGM Grand of Foxwoods. You've been working with Sergei Zinzirik leading up to this fight. He's a guy very well accomplished, has a world title in the junior middleweight division to his credit, but is relatively unknown to American fight fans. What can we expect? I mean, uh, the kid's a very solid fighter. You know I mean? He has uh, <coughs> a lot of tools that, um, a little bit of mixture of European and American. You know what I mean? So uh, I think that uh, it's a big opportunity and, and a perfect showcase for him to show the world what he's about. Sergio Martinez is coming off a spectacular 2010 where he's named Fighter of the Year. He won the title in dominant fashion against Kelly Pavlik and defended it in even more dominant fashion with a one-punch knockout of Paul Williams. Should we not expect him to look that scintillating against a fellow Southpaw like Sir Guy Zinzirik? Well, I think that uh, Zinzirik is a totally different fighter than Paul Williams and uh, Kelly Pavlik. And um, I think that um, Martinez is going to see things that I feel that, you know, um, he hasn't really seen in the fight or, and any of his opponents he's going to see Saturday night. Let's talk about some of the other fighters you've been working with as of late. Just last week, James Tony fought for the first time in a boxing ring, and I believe well over a year. Of course, we saw his little stint in UFC over the summer. What's, what's next for James? Really, to be honest with you, I don't know. I mean, you know, he came into my gym two weeks before the fight and checked out my gym. He said, I like it. He goes, now I want you to train me. I see you tomorrow at 11 o'clock. And that was it. Now, he came into your gym two weeks before the fight. He showed up for the fight weighing 257 pounds, by far the heaviest of his career. Do you think he was well prepared for that fight, or do you think since he was in against an opponent who was merely a club fighter, he took him lightly? Well, we worked on basically getting the weight down because he was heavier than that. I mean, and he had worked hard for the last two weeks to get the weight down, and he knew he was going to, everyone knew he was going to be heavy because he had been off for so long. I mean, he'd been off for a year and a half, and um, so now I can say that after the fight, he was back in the gym two days later, you know, working, getting his weight down. So you think that he will try to legitimately make another run at a title shot? Well, he knows he, that in order for him to do it, he's got to get the weight down, and if he gets the weight down, then he'll be fine. Has he decided to stick with boxing and the MMA experiment is over? Well, from what, I, from what I'm hearing from him, that there's no more MMA. It's just boxing now. What else is going on with other fighters in your stable? Because, you know, we see you working the corners of quite a bit of fighters here and there. Your son, James McGirt Jr., notably. Who else are you working with these days? Well, I just got two Cuban fighters. Uh, the last name is Despaña and uh, Uga, I believe they how to pronounce his is name. Is this your Danis Despaña we saw fight yes. on ESPN last yes. week? Him and uh, I got a kid, Uga, who fought on the Donito Donaire card in Las Vegas. They're two up-and-coming fighters, so you know I, I'm uh, you know building myself up now gradually in, in Los Angeles. Your Danis Despaña last week lost a decision against Ismael Silka on ESPN in a battle of two undefeated light heavyweights. Not necessarily a bad loss for him since Silka is so highly thought of. What's next for him? Well, you know he he realized that uh, he got caught up into the crowd, and I just told him, look, you got nothing to be ashamed of. You lost to a very good fighter. You know, you lost to a top fighter. So I mean, it's it's an experience. It happens in boxing. Just his ninth pro fight, too. He'll be back? Most definitely. Any final words for our fans about the fight this Saturday night between Martinez and Zinzirik? Just tune in. I think it's going to be a great fight. I think that uh, it's just about time now that in boxing, the best step up to fight the best. Well, this Saturday night, middleweight title on the line. Sergio Martinez takes on Sir Guy Zinzirik. And this man to my left, Buddy McGirt, will be in the corner of Zinzirik. For 8CountNews.com, I'm Peter Zimbor.